Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown, and today we're gonna play No Man's Sky. Now, this game, I've been waiting for this game for a long, 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 long time. This game is not for everyone, just a disclaimer. This is an exploration game. It's not a shoot 'em up it's not an alien combat game, it's not a city builder, it's not a colonizer, it's not Euro Truck Simulator. It's an exploration game. You explore stuff, you name stuff, you get on with it, you go further. It's a bit like Minecraft in the olden, olden days. Geokinetic system online. Scanner damaged. Repair required. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Multi tool and mining laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence complete. There we are. We're on a bleak planet. Harsh winds, standard sentinels, flora is rich and fauna is ordinary. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Alright, so welcome to No Man's Sky. Now if we take a look around, we are in no immediate danger. There's no harsh weather or anything. Um, there's all sorts of things that we can do in this game, but most of them will revolve around exploring your surroundings. So right now we are running about on this barren wasteland. There's just a couple of cacti and the interesting rock formations. There we go. Um, yeah, this looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's get on onto this cliff. Let's see what we can find. We've got a bit of a jetpack, so we can make short running bursts. Look at that. We're standing on top of the cliff, looking down at our spaceship. There's a sentinel flying around. These sentinels are like the policemen of the universe. So if we do a lot of bad things, they'll come after us. So let's not try to anger them. Uh, first, let's take a seat in our spaceship, and I'll explain you a bit about the game. First of all, as you may notice, the um, frame rate is dropping all the time. I've got a pretty high-end computer, um, and it's still not working perfectly. Because your computer is still a system, and it uses things on the background as well. And, well, this game is just not very optimized just yet. So our first objective would be to repair our spaceship after this crash to get it off the ground. So we need to make the launch thruster system work again. So we need some karite sheets. Um, this is technology, let's back out. If you press E, we can craft. And for karite sheets, we need some iron. So, let's fix some iron. So if you press E again, we'll hop out. There we go. Now there is this debris, a distress beacon. Let's activate it. There we go. Reality seems to fall in on itself. Mm -hmm. One moment I can see debris. In another, a vast red orb. Right. Could this be the face of creation itself? Wow. Uh, a name burns itself into my mind. Atlas and a request made without words. Should I follow the path? This is being uh, that I should have the path. This being this Atlas has set for me. Yes, yeah, sure. We'll accept its guidance. There we go. We feel suffused with a warm glow of approval. I was lost, but now I'm found. The Atlas acknowledges my allegiance and the rest I couldn't read because it was a bit too fast. All right, um, so this is our crash landing site. Uh, we've got a couple of things lying about. Let's take a look if we can interact with any of them. It doesn't look like it. We've got a we've got a gun, a mining laser. Now, oh, this is uh, we need an atlas pass. We don't have one. This is a cargo drop. This will give us some plutonium, it seems. So all the items you can get uh, come in the form of oh. Viking dagger. 
Well, except for treasures, I, I was going to say all items come in the form of uh, periodic table um, molecules and atoms, I guess. Damaged machinery. Pulse Jet Tau. Provides increased maneuverability and longer boost during space flight. Wow. Also improves Thamium 9 consumption. Nice. So we've got some uh, technology from that. Uh, this I cannot open. Uh, let's take a look at our inventory. Launch thruster. Uh, yeah, this is for the ship. This needs to be repaired. Uh, how about the exosuit? This is what we're living in. Uh, we've got a dagger, which we can sell. Uh, we've got some plutonium, which we can use or sell. Uh, we can also transfer items to our ship. Now it's in the starship. It's really nice. So we can move it around like this, just by, um, just by dragging it. And we've got a multi-tool, and we can, uh, we should definitely uh, get some carbon and some iron to fix our analyzer and our scanner. I think that's going to be first priority. So let's take a walk around and let's see if we can find some iron and some carbon. Now, I'm guessing carbon comes from plants. Let's take a look at these watermelons. Oh, you can destroy them like this. Yeah, that gives us a bit of carbon. Look at that. So these watermelons, they give carbon. And these cacti give carbon as well. Look at that. Now, we've got a bit of carbon, so I think we can Technology fix the scanner. Prepared. That is a really, um, really annoying voice, and I've looked high and low, but you can't set it lower than this. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll show you in the options. Uh, there's music and F uh, SFX. And these used to be 80, and they go up all the way to 100 if you're... If you want to make some noise. So I've put them all the way down to 5. So we can still hear it for a bit, but... You know, um, it doesn't seem to work for the robo voice. So I'm very sorry if that annoys you. All right, let's uh, grab some iron, shall we? We've got the carbon we need. We should take a look at some iron, which is probably rock-based, I guess. Oh, what's that? There's something over here. This is plutonium, right. Plutonium, great. That is a lot of plutonium. Oh, you know what? We'll grab some carbon while we're here. Oh, that's iron. This is iron. There we go. These little rocks on the ground. Uh, that's not a rock. That's a watermelon. There we go. Uh, should be some tiny rocks over here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, now we should be able to... Nope. Not yet. The visor. Um... Oh, what's this? Zinc. And we can interact with it. We don't have to destroy all the plant life. Great, because I hate destroying everything. That's carbon. I thought that was a rock, but this is apparently a rock. There we go. Let's grab some stuff while we're here. Oh, and this mining laser can overheat, apparently. Alright, now we should be able to... Technology prepared. Yeah, we fixed it. And we can use either plutonium or carbon recharge. to recharge or repair our technology. technology recharge. So there we go. Now, it's getting a bit nippy on this planet. It's minus 10 degrees, but minus 10 is like a good winter day. It's not the worst, it's not the best. Uh, but it doesn't seem to affect us in any way. Apparently, it's... Uh, it's not so cold that we need life support, which is great, because we we really could do with a nice passive planet. Alright, um, so let's go into the ship, and let's take a look. Launch thruster, critically damaged, we know. This needs karyte sheets, so let's try to create these. Uh, we need a lot of iron for this, so... We don't have a lot of iron, so we need to find it somewhere. Uh, we have a bit of iron. Yeah, we could uh, transfer all this to the ship. Ship itself. We don't really need it anywhere. Um, hazard protection. Yeah, this is fine, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. And how about the multi-tool? Yeah, we're doing fine. Hold F to operate. 
All right, so we can operate this scanning device. We can also press C to do a bit of a scan. Oh, there is another item there. I totally, uh, totally missed this. It's another item we can uh, open up. Accelerated fire theta. This is for the spaceship, of course. Great. So this is all iridium, which is a silicate. And there is some more iridium. We are not short of iridium anytime soon, which is nice. But this planet is a bit barren. Uh, let's take a look. There is some stuff over here. Some debris. And we need some atlas pass for this. So this is some more plutonium, it seems. Oh, and there is a big chunk of iron. Uh, I'll grab it right after I grab this one. Because that looks to be some thamium-9. Oh, there we go, another frame drop. There we go, some Thamium-9. Look at that, 24, that's really good. So, where are the iron? Oh, this is iron, these... Right, these things. So, we get a bit of iron, and now we get overheated, so I think... Yeah, we're not going to be able to mine them in one go. So, I have to mine them in a couple of... A couple of goes... That's fine. So as soon as we overheat, you just let go and you start again. Life support power low. Oh, life support power is low apparently. Oh, holy shit! That's uh, a couple of sentinels. Ah, oh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, mining my own business. Oh wow, that was that was bad. I I I apologize for that pun. Oh, this is all iron. Right, let's go to the top. Let's mine it from the top down. This is nice. This is all iron. Alright. So this takes a long time to mine. As you can see by this icon. It goes down every now and again. So if you... Oh, you don't have to wait for it to recharge entirely. You can just do it as it's cooling down. It will start over again. All right, that's that's nice. Gives it a bit of a, a bit of speed to the process. Temperature levels stabilizing. Temperature levels have stabilized. That's nice. All right, this is. Oh, this entire rock just disappeared, and I'm being watched by sentinels. But uh, I'm not there. Don't mind me. I'm just hopping back into my spaceship. Alright, I think we can craft some of these plates we need. So let's go to our exosuit. Let's transfer the iron. Let's transfer everything, by the way. Let's just get rid of it. Let's put it in the starship. So, oh, we don't want to craft. Yes, we do want to craft. Ca nice. Even nicer. Look at that. That's four karite sheets. We can repair our launch thruster. Right. Now, for this, we need heridium, and there's a giant bale of heridium right in front of us for the pulse engine. The pulse engine will be, of course, used for interplanetary uh, local system um, uh, local system travel. Launch thruster, that's fine. And we do need to uh, charge it up, actually, with a bit of... Technology recharge. With a bit of plutonium. There we go. Nice. Objective complete. We did it! Yay! Alright, now it's time to get this Heridium. To get one more objective. Uh, oh, there we go. We'll do it from the top again. Oh! This seems to work a bit differently. <laughs> this is not one giant rock. This is apparently multiple small rocks. Right. There we go. Nice. Hmm. Very, very nice. This is what I'm talking about. This is... This is good. Oh, we're overheating a bit. I don't know if we can get 200 heridium from this, but I'm hoping we can. Man can always hope. Nice. 
All right. There we go. A bit more. This stuff is everywhere. It's even going down underground. What's that sound? All right. Um, we've got more than 200, so we can repair the... Uh, uh, the other thruster as well, the pulse engine, I believe it's called. All right, let's fix it up. Uh, we need some carite sheets still. Let's make them. Product constructed. Product constructed. And there we go. And we can put some Thamium 9 in it. Recharge. This is really nice. We're, uh, we're getting some stuff done. Wow, that was really fast. We had a very Objective lucky spawn. Complete. We had a very lucky spawn there. Oh, you've got a milestone. What is it? Starship repair. Look at that. We are experts at repairing starships. All right, so I haven't used my scanner just yet. Um, how does this work exactly? Can we scan a tree? Objective complete. Oh, we can. Look at that. We can scan a cactus. It's a new discovery. Already discovered this. Can I scan this watermelon? Oh, yeah. We can. Nice. So you can apparently scan all of the wildlife, including the plant life. That's really nice. Alright, let's destroy all of this heridium. This goes deep underground still. This might be leading into a cave. Oh no, I think that's it. I think that's it for this one. That was a deep rock. It looked like it came from the heavens above and just slammed into the side of this cliff. <laughs> it just lodged itself deep into the ground. All right, so there we go. A bit more carbon. Oh, this is. Um, yeah, I should take a look at the controls actually, for before we uh, before we try a lot of things that don't work. Uh, scanning is with C. We did that. Uh, zoom mode, which is F, and increase zoom is right click. Right, so you can right click to increase the zoom. Now this is another plant. And this should be another plant as well, because I haven't seen that one before either. Look at that. Alright, nice. And we can scan like this, so we can find some stuff. There is some, some yellow stuff right there. Let's take a look. Shouldn't be too far away. We'll grab any iron we come across. Now what is this? Titanium. Look at that. There we go. Some titanium. Oh, there is some more. Some more stuff over there. And there's a nice big chunk of iridium again. If we ever need some. That will be fine. That will be nice. What kind of plant is this? Can we scan this one as well? Yes, we can. Nice. And we can interact for the zinc. I think we've already discovered these. Oh, not this one. We're discovering all kinds of plant life. Oh, we can actually take our starship uh, into space. I completely forgot that we just repaired our starship. <laughs> I think that uh, that's one of the goals of this game, to get into space. But, you know, I re I, I'm starting to like it here. This is a non-hostile planet. We've got plenty of resources. I think we should take a, la uh, a look around this planet first. So, what? already discovered this one. Already discovered this one. Let's take a look at our uh, options, rather. And our discoveries. So, first we're in this system. And we can rename and upload this. So, let's rename this system... Um, what should we call it? Let's call it Creamy TV. Creamy TV, there we go. 
We can upload it. Oh, it's already uploaded as soon as you rename it. All right. Can we still rename it? No, we can't. You can only name it once, so name it carefully. Right. And this planet will be the planet of... I think I'll call it Tour Noir. There we go. That's nice. So we've got all kinds of plant life which we could give a name. And there's also records and... Complete to receive... Oh, okay. So if we complete all of these, we get some additional units, which is nice. So this is a cactus-like plant. And we'll call it Catcus. Just to... Just to mess with people. And... Let's see, this is another cactus. We'll call this... Cactus. Like this. This is a strange one. This is not a cactus per se. Um, I think this is... A... Riddiff flower. I don't know why, but it just seemed like a rid of flower. All right, this one. Um, this is another cactus uh, variant. So we'll call this um, Cactus. Another one. We'll just keep giving it strange names. Cactus. These are the watermelons. Uh, Cacti. How about um, cacto melons? And these are croxes. There we go. That's a lot of discoveries. We've got a lot of units, as the uh, Robo Lady has pointed out a couple of times. Rather rather annoyingly there's some sentinels flying around but we have no uh no intent to misbehave is this plant life i can scan no this isn't oh that small one is there we go that's a new discovery so there's all these kinds of plant life you could just upload and discover Croptus. Thanks for the units, Bay. That's really nice. Oh, this guy has... Oh, we've already discovered the Cractus. Of course we did. And the Cactos. And the Croctas. We've discovered these. That's fine. Start another scan. There's still some stuff in here which we didn't open up. I guess we should. Should open up our resources. That will be nice. Uh, oh, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't open these, right? I can with this one. A Macmox, and this needs an Atlas Pass. Life support power low. All right, life support systems at fifty percent. I think that's something we can we can address. Technology recharge. Right. So that's it. You just have to. All right. Right. Um, We'll uh, transfer all this to the ship. Oh, and some Heridium as well. I don't know why we need all this crap, but, you know, I love collecting shit. Alright, so, what's here? This is iron. This is iron. You know what? We might need some more iron. Let's, uh, let's go for it. There we go. Boom. And this one as well. This one is a bit bigger. There we go. And some more. And even more. Come on. You're nearly there. This is one big chunk of iron. There we go. And boom. Just about overheated. Nice. And we can transfer this to the ship, of course. We're being scanned by uh, by these sentinels. They've seen that we have disrupted the iron. And they're scanning us to see if we have the iron. 
They won't leave us alone, which is a bit nasty. But we'll shake them off like this. We'll just run away. Now, there's another Heridium rock here. Do we really need more Heridium? That's the question. That's the biggest question of all. Um, oh, that was a strange noise just then. Oh, I hate these strange noises. Uh, there are some, uh, some waypoints up there. And I think it's in a cave below because they just disappeared. This is some more plutonium. I'll take that, gladly. I think this is in a cave below because, you know, it's gone. Oh, some more Thamium-9. There's also another isotope here. We are exhausted at the moment. We can't run, but there we go. This is platinum. Platinum in plant form. And there's some... Oh, this is for recharging your shield. Right. Shield is at maximum. Yeah. Here you go. Plutonium. There we go. Oh, look at that one. Don't think we have that one yet. Oh, we have. I keep forgetting the ones we have because they all look very much alike. There's a big barrel over here. Which needs an atlas pass. Oh, look at that. All the spaceships. Where are they going? Hello? Hello? I don't think they'd like us very much. Alright, that's some colourful rocks right there. Let's, uh, oh, is this one? Oh, we thought, yeah, they all look alike, as I said, but we have, we have done that one. Alright, let's take a look at this strange rock formation. I want to know if I can mine it and what it will bring me. Really odd. It's iron. It's a big chunk of iron. It's just colored differently. Alright, let's grab it. Let's just grab it. Looks like our mining beam is running out of juice very soon. So we should try to get some plant life into our mining laser. I think it's plant life that's needed. Let's recharge. Uh, plutonium, carbon, whatever you have on hand actually. Uh, Technology recharge. We'll just use some plutonium, that's fine. All right, just a bit of iron. There we go. And some more iron. Now this sentinel is going to probably be a dick about it. Should we try and kill one sentinel just to see if he can? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he can. I hate... Oh, come on. Fuck it, let's do it. Hostiles approaching. Warning. Sentinel drones activated. Alright. Oh, it gives us a bit of titanium. That's nice. So where's the other one? It's over there. It's lost me. Nice. Sentinel force deactivated. Life support power. Low. Alright, life support is low. Which is something you do need to keep intact, of course. Uh, this one, life support. Let's uh, put some carbon in it, I Technology guess. Recharge. Uh, you know, let's also put Technology some plutonium in recharge. it. Nice. No free slots in ship inventory. Oh, ship inventory is full. Um, where is the ship? The ship is over there. We've got a giant heap of iridium over there, and... If we walk this way for two minutes, we'll come across something really nice. Oh, we had a milestone. Destroyed one sentinel. Look at that. We're getting achievements left, right and center. All right. Um, there we go. Let's take a soft landing. I think that's nice. 
All right, we know where the ship is. Uh, this is not too far of a walk, but in a couple of minutes, we'll find a place. Oh, look at that. These these landscapes, it's hard to say, uh, it's, it's hard to believe, actually, that these were not created by a man. These were, in fact, all created by an algorithm. Oh, we've got a new one. All right. That's nice. Yeah, we've done most of these. We could, however, name this new one, of course. Kreptus. There we go. It's a Kreptus. Oh, we've got a couple of sentinels over there. So there is something right beyond this. Oh, look at that. Almost missed this. Bit of treasure. A Gek Charm. I haven't the foggiest in a power canister. You know, I haven't the foggiest about what this is supposed to be. Uh, a cargo drop. Nothing found. Alright. You're off the hook. There's some more over here. Should cross the cactus. There we go. A neutral cargo drop, another Gek Charm, another power canister, and we need another Atlas Pass. This is so strange, all of these things. What's this? A, a big heap of Iridium again, yeah. A really big heap of Iridium. Alright. Oh, what's this? Analyzing this animal. Elderly, none. Shy vegetation weighs a bit. Weighs a bit, jeez. Alright, let's analyze this one as well. Right, so there's a couple of animals. And they all look alike. Well, not, not that much, but they look alike a bit. Hmm, alright. Great. These guys are shy, apparently. Alright, let's take a look at this uh, this building. Let's do a scan first. So we can see where the treasures are. Alright. A couple of things. Oh, what's this? Oh, we just did a mega scan. Look, in the upper left corner, there's some kind of outpost. Oh, wow. Advanced life form detected. All right, that's good to know. It's very good to know. Thanks a bunch. Um, all right, what's in this chest yet? We have a, we've opened it already. A gra gra. The, do we not have... Oh, we, we have... We just can't take any any more stuff, I guess. No free slots in ship inventory. Right. So we've got all these items, so we don't know what or why. There's a, there's some more isotopes uh, over here. Some thabium. Nice. Right. So we've got this thing. Where is it? Uh, there we go. There it is. And that's a 30, uh, 34 minute walk. I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to walk towards a spaceship again. And perhaps we can use... Oh, we're going we're gonna to take the high walk. Yeah, it's going to be nice. We are going to get into our ship. And we're going to... Going to fly all the way over there. That's what we're going to do. So every time we fly, we desperately need some stuff to make it work. Some uh, some fuels, at least. So that's going to be... Oh, we can't harvest the platinum because our infantry is full. Well, at least we can transfer this one. And now I hope we can transfer this. Yes, we can. Great. All right. Um, let's climb up here. Support power. No. You can climb up these steep hills. There we go. If you hold space, you're going to use the jetpack to do the climbing for you. 
There we go. Up there, yes. And we're up. Look at that. What's that over there? That's just a chunk of iron. Yeah. Alright, so there's... Oh. That's a bit steep. There's a sentinel as well. Oh, this is so nice. Alright, let's head back to the ship. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode, but I don't think many of you mind, really. And we're going to do one uh, right after this one again. Oh, look at that. That one... That bit of iridium has been mined. But I can tell you for a fact that it was not me. Alright. That's a bit strange. Oh, God. Stupid sentinels always scare me like shit. Alright. Uh, we need to descent. That's going to be a bit tricky. Uh, just a little bit. Alright. We'll use small bursts. There we go. We did it. Now, we're almost at the starship. If we hop in, we'll... Uh, We'll save automatically, which is nice. Got some more zinc. And we'll, uh, next time, we'll lift off and uh, fly towards the marker we just found with the advanced life forms. Uh, frames dropping a bit again because, uh, well, as I said earlier, this game is not optimized just yet. There we go. We're here. We're home. Home at our spaceship. So let's hop in. There we go. Now we've got a lot of stuff in here. Um, we might want to. We might want to try. No free slots in ship inventory. Yeah, I figured. All right, let's uh, keep the items on our person and let's transfer the things we can use. Uh, there we go. This Viking dagger will. Transfer it for some iron. There we go. So now we've only got charms and, and stuff. I th I hope we can sell this stuff to the um, to the advanced life form we're about to meet. So yeah, uh, next time we're going to lift up, restore point saved. Yeah, apparently you have to step outside of your uh, spaceship to save it. I hope there is an option for that too. Options. Reload previous. All right. So you can only reload. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer, actually, that you can reload. I thought it would be a bit more hardcore. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's all fine. Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting here I want to show you, except for the journey and the discoveries. and That's all fine. We've got some... Uh, oh, we've still got these uh, two. Should we just leave their names as they are? Yeah, let's just yeah, upload it. There we are. We'll just upload these as they are. We're 14% complete on this... Uh, uh, on this planet. So we found a lot of things already. There's some waypoints we can discover. So yeah. If we can discover those waypoints. Hopefully we can trade a bit. So uh, once again. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you again next time.